My name is Grant Cook. After three seasons of film learning, I've come home with only one goal, to teach cool effects. But my old approach wasn't enough. I had to become someone else. I had to become something else. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning good. And here it is. I said you were getting two episodes this week, and it's maybe a little bit late, but the surprise is that I actually followed through with it. Here's the request. Pereira Plays asks, make an Arrow intro tutorial? Okay, I'll do it, but only because I already figured it out. In order to complete this effect, you'll need to download the project file in the description that contains our Cinema 4D assets, a couple of other assets, and our fog. So let's get to work. Okay gang, we're starting this one straight off in After Effects, and we'll be using Cinema 4D from then on out. If you download the project file, you'll see that we have several files in our After Effects project. A Cinema 4D file called Arrow Intro, a Fog file, and a Photoshop sequence called Arrow Head. You'll also need to install the font file in the pack too before we start. Our first step is to select our downloaded Cinema 4D file, head up to Edit, and click Edit Original. This will open Cinema 4D, and here's what we're working with. So here's our project all set up and ready to go in Cinema 4D. I've made this super easy for you, gang. The camera is animated to the time of the original Arrow title sequence, and the text is all lit and ready to go. I've made the text Cinema 4D light friendly this time too, by using a text spline and then using extrude nerves. This is the second way to make your 3D text in Cinema 4D. If you want to see how it's made with Mo text, check out our Flash title episode I made a few weeks back, right here. Now guys, it actually took me a long time to get the arrowhead right, and I'm still not 100% happy with it, but the reason it's not included in this tutorial is because I used some paid textures from Grayscale Gorilla's Texture Kit Pro on it, and I can't give those away. So I've already rendered it out for you, and it's sitting in the After Effects project file. So here's how extra super difficult this effect's gonna be. Let's head up to our text layer, click on our text spline, head down here to Object Properties, and then type whatever you want it to read. For example, Arrow. Now I better be careful because Warner Brothers TV copyright claimed my zoom effect episode and I don't want to give them any ammo to do it again. Except, you know, it's a tutorial guys and features nothing from your show. Sorry about that, I got sidetracked. So now that we've typed our text, we may need to center it into place. To do this, head up here and grab this cross looking thingy and then we'll mouse down over the red arrow until it turns white. We can then move it around in place. Just make sure that it's right in the middle of the shot. You can then hit the play button down here and you'll see what your text will look like all animated. Nice. Now guys, if you want, you can copy and paste another text layer if you want more than one word. I'm just gonna add a film up the top and make it a little smaller, like so. Now that we have our text done, it's time to render it out. So let's head up to render settings, this little one right here, and lo and behold, all the render settings are all done. Who could have done that? I'll confess, it, it was me. All we have to do now is click on save, click on our save location and pick somewhere for them to be saved to. Once that's done, close it out and hit the render button. Since I already rendered mine out, I'm just gonna jump over to After Effects and let's put this song bitch together. Okay, here we are back in After Effects. I've imported my Photoshop sequence, but wait, it's saying 30 frames per second, but it's not. So let's fix that. Let's right click, select interpret footage, and we'll key in 23.976 and click OK. That's much better. So this bit is just as easy as every other part of this episode, guys. Our first step, select our text layer, drop it into a comp. Second step, grab the arrowhead footage and drop that below it. And third, grab that fog footage, double click on it, and let's just scrub to a point where the fog is taking up the whole screen. We'll then click our in point to designate this is where we want the clip to start, head back over to the project window and drop it at the bottom of our comp. We'll then hit S and scale it up to 151% since it's 720p and what we're working in is full HD. Now, let's check out a preview of that. Not bad, but it needs those cherries on top we love so, so much. Our first cherry is to add some much needed motion blur to both the text and the arrowhead layers. So with our text layer selected, let's head up to Effect, Time and click on Pixel Motion Blur. 
Now I'm pretty sure that CS6 doesn't have this effect, so if that's the case, check out Real Smart Motion Blur. I've got an episode on that right here. Right, let's tweak some settings guys. Let's bring the shutter angle up to 300 and the samples to 20. As you can see, we now have a nice bit of motion blur happening here. Now instead of doing that again, because you know, it was really laborious, <laughs> let's just copy and paste that directly onto our arrowhead layer as well. Now, let's check out a preview. Now, that my friends, is another shot mm, done. Add up all those steps and you get something like this. So that's my take on the Arrow title sequence. I'm sorry about not using the matching music or having the Arrow title, but if you've been following me on Twitter, you would have noticed that Warner Brothers have copyright flagged my Zoom tutorial for some reason, even though it contains none of the show. And basically, I don't wanna give them another reason to do the same thing here. Now guys, stay tuned next week as I'll be finally talking about our exciting 10,000 subscriber comp and with any luck, I'll have yet another cool effect for us to make together. But that's my time guys. If you enjoyed the video, please like and share it. If you're new here, fire an arrow at that subscribe button. For previews of upcoming episodes, don't forget to hit me up on both Facebook and Twitter. This is Rich Finley. Keep learning.